Oh no, the Earth is gonna lose gravity for seven seconds in August. Do you wanna know what's really going on? Well, I'm gonna tell you, but first let's hear a little bit more about it from these Masons, I mean, uh, podcasters. On August 12th, 2026, the world will lose gravity for seven seconds. NASA, okay. Okay. NASA knows. They're NASA preparing, knows. Okay. but they won't tell us why. November 2024, a secret NASA document titled Project Anchor leaked online. Mm -hmm. The project's budget is $89 billion. Oh, my God. And its goal is to survive a seven-second gravitational anomaly expected on August 12th, 2026 at 1433 UTC, 733 AM Pacific Time. In the first one to two seconds, everything not secured will rise, including people, vehicles, animals. Three to four second time span, objects will continue to rise to 15 to 20 meters. In the five to six second time span, pa panic and chaos will ensue as people hit ceilings. And after seven seconds, gravity returns, everything falls from the height that it's at. The estimated consequences are 40 million deaths from falls, infrastructure destruction, economic collapse that would last over 10 years, and mass panic. Now I'm gonna tell you exactly what this is. Because a friend of mine sent me this last night, and within 10 seconds, I said to myself, I bet there's an eclipse on August 12th. So I looked it up. And yes, there's one on February 17th and March 3rd. And on August 12th, they won't push this through the news. The news is making sure to talk about it and get it out there. And they're using their Masonic podcasters and content creators and social media people to push it, to stir it up for the ultimate purpose of making you go inside. It's their new Eclipse sunglasses that they push. They want everyone wearing Eclipse sunglasses because they tell you that you could burn your eyes out. But do you want to know what it actually is? There are anomalies in the sky during eclipses that might wake you up out of the matrix. It might clue you into the fact that where they tell you you live on a spinning ball isn't quite accurate. This is my backyard during the eclipse on April 8th, and you can see there's something there. You see it? That's not a lens flare. And you can see multiple layers of it. This is just a solar filter on during that same eclipse. Here's another example of it that you can see they're literally trying to block out with chemtrails. These are the lens flares. Those are not. That's something else. Yeah, what you're actually seeing is the sun shining through the layers of the firmament. And while the news isn't going to come out and tell you this, because when it doesn't happen, they lose all credibility, but they're going to push it to get it in the back of your mind to cause fear and cause you to be inside so you don't see the anomalies that are going to wake you up out of enslavement. And like I said, they use their little Masonic puppets to push this stuff because they can lose credibility. But the news, you, you can't let the news lose credibility. This was the podcast talking at the beginning. Um, C, 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 which is three, three, three. There's an all-seeing eye there. That's Arian Foster, who was literally an NFL player. Sure, I, I trust what he says. Oh, and uh, that's a six, and that's a six. And did you see when they were talking? Well, they didn't come up with that number. That was the number they're pushing. But do you see those bar stools? Couldn't help but notice how they uh, also resembled some threes to me. And make sure you have two of them. And it's not just about getting you inside so you don't see. No, it's also about generating fear. Because during those exact dates, the Lionsgate portal is going to be open. It's a very spiritual event. One of the best days in the entire world to manifest, 8-8 through 8-12. It's literally opening up the gates to the heavenly realms. The spiritual energy is unmatched. And what do they do to counter that? They generate fear to counter the potential spiritual awakening that we could all have. So like I said, they use their little puppets, Arian Foster, go space, and their CCC and their all-seeing eye, they use them. So when it doesn't happen and they get you all inside to not see the literal sun shining through the layers of the firmament, 
well, then they can still have the news say, well, we debunked this, even though they're still pushing, pushing, pushing. They want that information out there. So it's in the back of your mind that what if just maybe? Well, I have news for you. Gravity doesn't exist. Everything is held down by electrostatics. The Earth is a big old grounding station and we're all electrical beings. And everything else is density and buoyancy. It's why when you take a breath and you're in water, you'll rise more. Not because of gravity, because you made yourself more buoyant. But of course, all this is for entertainment purposes. I, I'd make sure to get inside people and not look directly into the eclipse. Safely, might I add you. I did that uh, April 8th, two years ago. I was on a four-day fast leading into that April 8th eclipse, and I stared right at it. And then after that, I was on a spiritual and emotional and physical high for like four more days because of that positive energy you get. But I'm sure these guys aren't Masons either, even though they did an entire episode claiming to talk about Flat Earth, even though they were just mocking it and discrediting it the whole time. And I don't really think the actual sun is in the firmament and it shines through the layers of the firmament, just like the Bible talks about there being layers of the firmament. Hey, how many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Do you ever notice how many layers there are to a rainbow and notice its shape? Entertainment only, though, people. I don't really care about exposing the uh, third of the angels. 0.33 and all their little minions deceiving the world on a daily basis. No, I, I just do it to entertain. Entertainment only.